Welcome, friends, back for more Super Mario 64. 100% yeah. walkthrough. We just cleared the Lethal Lava Land and the Yahoo! Shifting Sand Land. Oh. Ow. Yeah. And we're still getting on the Hazy Maze Cave. Yahoo! I always like doing this part. Oh, not that way. There's a way you can kick it at the right time. <laughs> That never gets old. Now let's continue our mission with the Hazy Maze Cave. I'll sort of show you one trick I right know. Ah, I had a double. <laughs> I can recover this time. Whoa! What? Mamma mia! Mamma mia! Is right, Mario. Next is receive the metal Mario cap. Who's in this region? Which I'll show off. Sure, we are gonna need it. Thank <laughs> you. 
bad. You can do it without using metal cap. Just like ground pounding the switch while underwater. But this is a little difficult. <laughs> Mario is not exactly invincible that well. He's still coughing. So he's not really invincible. He can, he can still take injury from fall damage. So I feel that's kind of a false information. So he's not invincible entirely. Okay, I think there's one more. Memory serves. Oh, yeah, this one. You know, you can actually use this. The metal cap to help you get through the boulders. And if you're fast enough, it will benefit you. <laughs> you can take as much damage as you want without getting hurt. <laughs> That's a pretty well hidden star. But that is truly the Hazy Maze Cave, amigos. Now, do something quick. I like to kind of see if I can try to kill Mario while going to the waterfall. It shows what happens if you go over the waterfall on a fast current. Where you get the metal couch. Challenge, that's way you do it. Let's see if I can try and make it work. I don't want to kill the snippets. Can you see me from here? Yeah, you can see me from here, and it might be in the time where it gets launched into the distance. 
I know you take two points worth of damage when you contact him directly. Ow! No, I don't want to heal. I want to hurt him. Get hurt from him. Oh, that was close. Ah, oh, you can get hurt. Yeah, it's fine. Do that. Okay, let's give this a try. Hope's enough distance, isn't it? Nope, it's not gonna work. But I thought it was worth a try. Come back here. Gotcha. Itself. I forgot, no shadow. You have to wait for an image to have no shadow. There we go. And then jump back with the controller. Same basic principle. Wait for the shadow. <laughs> I unlocked the door from the inside. That's entertaining. I always wanted to try that. What's well, like to unlock the door from the inside? Okay, we have a cheap, cheap. Fun fact if you touch these, you get injured. Let's see if I can touch him. Uh, cheap cheap. Oh. Yep, you can get injured from these cheap cheeps if you touch them. Let's see. I, wasn't it this one that goes first? It's been a while. Yep. Just like I expected. And don't get caught in the whirlpool because you actually die. I can't recall. Was it this one? Ow! No, clearly not. Man, I had to reset the whole thing. Then is the chest over there. So if you get shocked there, that's actually your worst fortune, no doubt. And you can't recover yourself once you get electric shocked from these treasure chests. So I strongly recommend don't start with that chest, because you're going to get stunned and couldn't recover. I mean, once you're stunned, it takes like a few seconds to recover from that. Yahoo! 
Okay, we need to go to the Bower Sub. And by the way, this is Dire Dire Docks. You can ignore the trick you can do out here. Oh, I see it speedrunning. You can do this. Not quite like that. Let me try again. There we go. Now I'll show you another way if you have trouble getting past it. You can usually switch. I always love getting on the top. And now we unlocked King Bowser again. For a second time. You want to put the red coins too in this region. Sometimes one ups goes straight to you. You try it right sometimes. Set closer to be in the game. Now, Bower Sub's gone, so now we can get the 100 coin star here. Pickle. Including the red coins. 
and the Stingray appears afterwards. It only appears after you defeat Bowser. Now this is one of the hardest hard coins to get because there's not that much. I thought there was like a hundred, uh, ten coins or something here. Or maybe I'm wrong. Don't touch the shark, by the way, because that will inflict hit points. You have to get all the blue coins here. This 
part just requires some patience. We've got 70 stars, so we unlock the endless stairs. First, we'll get this one, the Stingray. This thing's kind of like weird sometimes. I think you can swim slowly. Ah, maybe a little too slow. Hitbox are kind of odd here. Yeah, I went right through that one and then just didn't register. The last one should... There we go. Rub above the whirlpool. The planet is because you console, so that's why Plaggy. Sequence break with a with a jet stream swimming there, or you can just do the normal way with a metal cap. But first, there's a trick to it. You want to go to the jet stream first, then go to the rings. It's like the same right. Cage. 
So that's pretty simple. All you need is just the mash cap this one in, in there. Which personally to me, I think it's faster. Yeah, you can see there's a star blocked in the cage. So we'll need the, this one. You need the mash cap, no doubt. And when we wear that, that's gotta make a job go swimmingly. Dire Dire Docks. Now, I'm going to show up where the key goes, but I think before I do that, there's one thing I never tried. There's something called a double Pickle. drowning. When you go through the, the spot where it sucks you in. And in case you don't recall, the waterfall in the his maze cave works you back to the spot where you get warped out of the Peach's castle into the water, same place where you get the vanish cap from the big slope. So I'm just gonna put some damage. And let's see if I can swim in time. didn't work. I spent too long in the water. Ah, oh, darn it. Ah, never mind. the guy who did it before and it looks so easy. Now I'm just gonna get one star from this region and then call it that here. Now doing that will raise the water level in the wet dry world. And you can unlock the, the bomb up there and get the star that's already in the water. You can see that's where the star is located. Ah, that was right above it too. Nope, not this time. Let's try again. Maybe if I help if I get the view better. Here we go. Well, that's a wrap for part four of Walkthrough Smart 64. We'll do more of the upper part of the castle next time. Until, until for next part five of the series, thank you everybody for watching. And I hope we take care of the rest of the other stars. There are only a total of 25, 55 more to go. Wait a minute, that's not 55, 45 in fact. Because you know, there's 40 plus 70 is 11, 110. That's right, 45 left to go. So I'll see you next time. Have a great rest of your day, and now it's so way go.